Good afternoon, everybody. Mr. Martin here. I hope you've all had a brilliant morning. So, our French lesson for Wednesday afternoon, then, Wednesday, the 20th of January 2021. So, we're going to do a bit of a rewind to some of the French vocabulary that we have already covered at school this year. Then, we're going to rewind back to last week's learning, where you guys learned about the days of the week, and then we're going to do some new learning today. I wonder if you can remember what French vocabulary we were looking at before Christmas school. So last week, did the greetings, we did uh, bonjour, bonsoir, bonne nuit, salut, and au revoir. So hopefully you've been practicing those at home. And we're gonna look at some more greetings, okay? So we're gonna have a rewind back to some conversational greetings and asking people how they are. So first of all, um we're going to look at how we say how are you so in french we say how are you we ask the question sava sava now you'll notice that this is a c and it usually has an accent underneath it okay a little line that goes down like that i'll do it on this keyboard say this c like an s so sava means how are you and then down here i've got four one, two, three, four possible answers that you could reply with. So if somebody says to you, Saba, how are you? And you say, I'm good, thank you. You would say, Saba bien, merci. Saba bien, merci. Which means, I am good, thank you. Merci means thank you. If you've had a bit of a rough day, you're struggling a bit and it's, it's not good, somebody asks you, Saba, you go, Saba mal. Saba mal. And that's this one. Yeah, and listen to the voice when I say I'm not got a really happy, expressive voice. It's not been a good day. Saba mal. Saba mal. Then at the bottom, if somebody asks you, Saba, I've got two that mean, yeah, I'm okay. I'm not doing too bad. Not great, but not really, really bad. So we've got mm. pa mal. This one. Pa mal. I'm doing okay. Yeah, not bad. And then this is my favourite one because it's a nice one to say. Okay, and you might have heard this before. Somebody asks you, uh, "Saba," you go, "Come see, come sa," which means so, so, a little bit of good, a little bit of bad. Come see, come sa. So, uh, my turn, your turn. Saba, Saba, Saba bien merci, Saba bien merci. Saba mal. Saba mal. Pa mal. Pa mal. Come see, come sa. Come see, come sa. So, so. Right. What I'd like you to do is pause the video now and practice asking the people at home with you, how are you? And then replying with these four different responses that we've learned at school. So that was our continuation of our greetings rewind already covered in year three. Last week, our new learning was the days of the week. And big shout out to all those children who sent me in their timetables with the French uh, days of the week and an activity. Really, really good work around that, okay? You spelt, first of all, you knew your English days of the week, which is always a good start. You spelt them correctly. Then you had written the French days of the week next to it and you spelt them correctly, well done. And we had some really, really creative ideas for our time tables. So quick rewind then. Monday is, and you can say them with me, lundi, lundi. Well done. Tuesday, mardi, mardi. Wednesday, mercredi, mercredi. Thursday was jeudi, jeudi. On Friday, we say vendredi. Vendredi, Saturday, so we're getting to the weekend. Saturday is Samedi, Samedi, and then my favorite one, Sunday, Dimanche, Dimanche. So well done if you said those. Now, the reason why we're learning the days of the week and the months of the year is so that we can begin to write the date in French. Now, hopefully, we know the days of the week now. We'll keep coming back to it so that we uh, can get it into our brains and embed it. Today, 
we go to our how, what, how, and why. So as you can see on our screen, our what for today's lesson is to know the month of the year in French. And uh, we're going to quickly recap and make sure that we know them in English as well. How are we going to do that? New learning is practice. We haven't covered it yet. And then why, as I've already explained, that we can write and say the days of the week in French. When we're learning a new language, it's always important to say it first and practice saying it. Then as we get more and more uh, advanced, we'll learn how to say it, read it, write it. Okay. So, before we start, I just thought I'd have a quick recap to make sure that we are all familiar with the months of the year in English. So, there are 12 months of the year, and we start the year in January. And it goes January, which we're in at the moment. February is the second month. March, April, May, June, July, August. So this is when you're off school in the summer for your summer holidays. September, October, November, December. Now, these months of the year are set out in what we call a calendar. And that's really important because... Um, we are going to be making our own one of those after today's lesson. So here, if you're not familiar with the months of the year in English, pause the video now and familiarise yourself with those. If you are brilliant, then you are ready to start learning the French ones. And I think you'll notice a pattern with some of these um, pronunciations. They're not too dissimilar, particularly these bottom four here. They do sound quite similar. So... Let me just share my screen with you and we will get our screen. Okay, let me just share my sound. Here we go. So, to start with, we have les mois, les mois, and that means the months. So, let's have a listen. Les mois. Les mois. My turn, your turn. Les mois. Les mois. Les mois. Fantastic. That is the months. And let's go through them then. So we're going to start with the first month of the year, which is January. So uh, as you can see, there's on all of these slides to help us remember which month. So January, we've got a snowman. We've had a bit of snow at the minute. Let's practice how we say it. Janvier. 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 Janvier, your turn. My turn. Janvier. Janvier. Fantastic. So there's January. Then we move on to February when we have Valentine's Day. Février. 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 Not too dissimilar. Then we go into March, which is when we go into spring. We've got our tulips here. Mars. 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 What then? Mars. Mars. Then we go into April and we usually have Easter. We've got our Easter bunny here. So, ready? Avril. Nice one. Avril. Avril. My turn. Avril. Your turn. Avril. Avril. Fantastic. So there's our first four. We've had Janvier, February, Mars, Avril. So we look at May then. So this is lambing season when all the baby lambs are born. May. Easy one. Sounds very, very similar to our English. May. May. Your turn. May. 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 Good. May, we have June. Juin. Not too dissimilar again. Juin. Juin. Pardon? Juin. 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 Good. And we move on to July, which is when, well, we've got a picture of a sun, but it's not always sunny in this country, as we know. So let's have a look at what July is then in French. Juillet. 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 So that is July. We'll come to the spellings of them all in a minute. 
Um, then we have August, which is your summer holidays. So this one's a bit tricky. Ute. 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 Your turn. Ute. High pitch bit. Ute. You feel your vibrations going. Ute. Then you come back down. Ute. Ute. Good. Then we have September when we go back to school. So this one's very similar. September. 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 Your turn. September. Good. Hopefully you're repeating these with me at home. Oh, I wonder if you can tell me which month of the year this is then. So we've got uh, a pumpkin carved out. We've got a goat. What month of the year do we have Halloween and who can remember? Good. So it's October. Let's see how we say it in French. Very similar. October. 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 Your turn. October. Good. After October, the 11th month of the year is November. And this image is shown on fire night, which is the 5th of November. Remember, remember the 5th of November. So let's have a look. November. 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 Your turn. November. November. Fantastic. Well done. And our final one, we've just had this month of the year. The last month of the year is... When do we have Christmas? December. So let's have a look. December. 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 Fantastic. Right. Let's have a look then. We're going to have a quick recap. As you can see, I've got all the months of the year here, but they are not in the order. So I'll go through them with you and we'll play them. So we start our year. January, which was ready. Janvier. Janvier. Good. Then we move to February, which is this one. Février. 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 Good. Then we have March. Mars. 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 April. Avril. 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 Then we go to May when all the baby sheep are born. May. 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 After May, we have June, which is this one. I think it's a wedding ceremony. I mean, I'm not sure. Maybe most weddings happen in June. Let's have a look. Juin. 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 Fantastic. Then we have our summer holidays one, or our sunny one, July. Juillet. 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 Uh, August, this is the hardest one, I think. Août. 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 Good. And back to school in September. 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 I think these last four are quite easy. September. September. Sounds very, very similar. Then we have... October. 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 November. 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 And then finally we have... December. December. Right. Let me just go back to my slides. Which was this one. So, here I have the spellings of all of these um, months of the year in French. And you're going to need these in a minute. So, let's just go through and say them again. And you can see the spelling. And you'll notice, like I've said before, the spellings aren't too dissimilar to the ones in English. Janvier, January. Février, February. Mars, uh, March. Avril, April. Mai, is May. Juin, June. Juillet, July. Août, August. September, October. November, December. Here we have the 12 months of the year written in. Now, Hopefully, you've been joining in with me in practice saying them throughout this video. Now, I'm going to give you a task to complete. So, in your books, 
Can you write the date, please? Wednesday, the 20th of January, 2021. Underneath, you could put underneath Wednesday, mercredi, because we know that that's Wednesday now. And we know that January is janvier, if you want to. Then, what I would like you to do is you are going to create your own calendar. Now, a calendar shows us all the months of the year, and it's where you can write down important dates. So, in your book, you're going to need to draw a table that has 12 grids, 12 rectangles. Mine's gone three across and four down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And what you're going to do is at the top of each box, is that going to work? Oh, no, I don't want it in the middle. So just at the top, roughly here, you're going to write the name of the month in English and in French. So I've done the first one for you. I've done January forward slash janvier, janvier. Okay. English, then French. I would like you to do that for all of them. So in this one, you would write February and then February, March, Maz, okay, and so on and so on. Once you have got the name of the month in English and in French, you are going to draw a picture in each one. I want plenty of colours on there as well, if you've got them, please. For something that represents that month. Now, if you remember on our slides that we've just watched, there were some pictures that helped us. Christmas is quite an obvious one for December. Okay, but if you've got um, say your birthdays in January, you want to draw yourself, I don't know, open presents or being with your family, you can draw that in January. Okay. February, what happens in February, March? I'd like a picture, each one. Okay. The main piece of the learning that we have got the English month and the French month to complete our calendar. So that is your task today, please. I would like plenty of colour on there. If you can use some of the ideas of the video for Halloween, for October, things like that, but you are more than welcome to add your own. Take your time with these, make sure they look brilliant and make sure you send us over your pictures on portfolio. Well done, have a good rest of the week and we'll see you again tomorrow. Thank you, goodbye.